I realize to say that this is the most important event in history is no small claim. But if the Bible is accurate and Christianity is true, then this lofty claim is undeniable. This is because the resurrection of Jesus from the dead effects a change in humanity and creation itself. Now humanity's greatest enemy, death, has been defeated and creation itself, fallen and twisted, can be remade. Jesus' resurrection is the first fruits of the green renewing of all that God has made. As I said a few sessions ago, as Tolkien describes it, the death of Jesus is the ultimate you catastrophe. It's a tragedy that hides a beautiful good because of the resurrection. We see the consummation and completion of this you catastrophe in the resurrection and the good, that's what the EU, the U part, is emphasizing. A few observations are in order. First, note that just as at Jesus' death, an earthquake accompanies his rising from death. These two cataclysmic events are bookended with a shaking of the earth itself. Second, we may observe that it is again the women who first learn of Jesus' resurrection and indeed the first ones to meet him. This is because, unlike the rest of the disciples, they have followed Joseph to the tomb and have continued to go there since. Third, it's worth noting that much emphasis here is put on Galilee. Jesus has told his disciples to meet him there, and now he reiterates the same. And this is going to prove to be very important for the final scene of the gospel. Fourth, ghosts don't have feet. This vivid idea is what's behind the odd detail found in verse 9 that they took hold of his feet. Widespread in the ancient world and in many cultures today was the belief that spirits or ghosts have no feet. And so this unexpected detail given here emphasizes something absolutely crucial about our faith, the bodily resurrection of Jesus. He was no ghost. He was no spirit. He actually rose from the dead.